from yesterday. So uh, how Chromata works basically breaks it down by application and then what we were doing within that application. So uh, we're also going uh, basically from a play-by-play -play on the timeline. So basically from the, uh, from, the, from the start time when we have our time tracker running, you can see what I'm doing at the 2 o'clock hour. Uh, so I'm, I'm bouncing around from Excel to Slack to Microsoft Word uh, to the web uh, over to email. So we've kind of got a paper trail of everything that uh, I'm working on throughout the day. This is rolled up from my Chromatic Time Tracker. So this is what's doing the capture. As I'm working on something, it's capturing that information. Basically, what application am I in and then what am I doing within that application? So we can see for uh, something like Microsoft Excel, I've got the title of the Excel doc. Uh, for Microsoft Word, I have the title of this Word doc. You can see I was in here for two minutes before I jumped over to uh, Google Chrome. For email, scrolling down here, so you can see that I've got uh, more uh, details associated with my email time, where I've got the subject line, the to, and the from uh, here, so that I can then bucket this email time um, to the uh, appropriate client and project that I work with. Uh, so there's a great level of detail, a lot of information, of course. Uh, so what are we going to do with all this? Well, we've got that uh, summary screen uh, that I uh, let in on, which is going to show you uh, what came in initially. So let me actually kind of bounce this uh, uh, main entry here, kind of give you a better idea uh, of, of what I was doing and where. So for um, each application, I've got a breakdown of what I was doing within that application and for how long. So back to email, since I know this is a popular one, we've got each email here. We've got the total amount of time that I spent on each email over on the right side here in terms of total time spent. So same idea for Microsoft Word. I've got the title of the Word doc and the amount of time that I spent on it. Uh, same for Slack, same for Microsoft Excel. And then uh, mobile time entries as well. I'll show you some mobile time here. Uh, also, uh, where we're going to capture the uh, phone calls and text messages, so on and so forth. Okay, so how are we moving this time from our unbuilt time down to our timesheet? So what I can do is make use of our move to project drop down here, uh, where I'm going to say, okay, uh, this goes with this client, this project. I've got a little shortcut here, so as I start typing, uh, it's going to shorten my project list. So I can now uh, select a project from here. Uh, I'm going to just kind of tap the uh, pen button. What that does allows me to add an annotation. So I can say uh, for a given time entry, I can kind of put uh, human English words into what I was doing. So transferring that computer speak into human English words. What that does moves it down from my unbuilt time down to my timesheet here. I also have a rounding setting that gets applied. So uh, I've got that set as six minutes, so it rounded this entry up from 16, so up to 18 uh, minutes on the total entry here, uh, what I was doing. I still have that original computer entry underneath, and I need to get back to it, but basically I've got this consolidated to a nice uh, set 18 minute uh, entry right here. I can do the same for email, so if I want to take an email, uh, I can say uh, that this uh, one minute email here, uh, goes with this project as well. Uh, so I could assign it once or I can also kind of automate this by creating a rule. So to create a rule, I'm going to hit that second mouse over and I'm going to say that anytime I see anything from uh, healthy audio hypnosis, anytime an email from them comes in, what I want to do, I want to move it to this project. I also want to give it this annotation. Uh, I can hit the preview button to see what I'm going to be bucketing. And now I can also, if I like my rule, I can categorize and create the rule once. I can also check the apply to pass button to apply it to pass entries if I'd like to do that as well. Uh, okay, so I've got uh, uh, kind of those shortcuts available to me. Let's bounce back to the timeline. I'm going to show you how to bucket a bunch of consecutive entries here. So remember, I started working at the 2 o'clock hour. I got a bunch of different tasks, but let's say this is kind of all the same thing more or less uh, as you work. Uh, you may have different activities you got here. So as you go uh, around your timeline, uh, what we could do is I could take everything on this 2 o'clock hour here and bucket it to a set client and project. So to do this, what I'm going to do is uh, select the topmost entry, hold down the shift key while I select everything in between, and I'm going to go ahead and move it to uh, a client, I move it to a project. I will give it an annotation here. 
and now I'm going to say I'm going to save this. So what it did it took everything, uh, gave it all the same annotation, moved it all the same project uh, back on the summary screen here within the timeline. You can see I've now moved everything uh, within here, so it hit the rounding setting. So up to 36 minutes. Uh, all those little consecutive entries have been swept under uh, this one consolidated bucket here. Okay, uh, let's see what else do we have. Uh, let me see if I can get some mobile time for you. Move over to the previous month here. So I've got some Android entries that were captured uh, from my Android app. So these are showing whether they were phone calls or text messages, and then also the amount of time spent on each entry. So for example, if I want to bucket all of the time that I spent uh, texting with Mike here, what I can do is just kind of select those two entries. I can move it to a client project. I can give it an annotation. Save this, and now it's going to move my time uh, from the unbuilt time uh, down to my timesheet. Uh, here where I've got the time entry I would have missed, uh, time texting back and forth with Mike here, and also split up for each day since I had bucket a month of time. We're now splitting for each day right here. Okay, uh, where is all this time going after we bucket it? Let's get this, uh, let, me, let me just get down to one day here. So as I uh, bucket the time down here to my timesheet, I can move it over to a third-party system uh, using our export feature. So if I want to move this over to uh, Cosmolex, Clio, QuickBooks Online, or one of the many systems that we have integrations with, what I'll do is I'll connect it up with... Uh, with the system that I'm looking to export it to. So let's say, uh, uh, let me actually use Cosmolex as one of our newer integrations. So when I hit the uh, connect button, it connects me up with Cosmolex. Now back to the project screen here. What we are doing is it's going to let me bucket all of my time uh, to, uh, to these given projects. So now on the uh, project screen, when I have um, import set up with a system like Cosmolex, I can import all the clients and projects over from that system. It's now going to bring that list over here so that I've now got this available. So for my time that is uh, now captured under my move to project, I've got the time from that system which I can now assign over. Okay, one minute left. Let me wrap up and show you how to get additional questions and such. So I do want to keep this uh, at 10 minutes, but I'm going to have to take your questions uh, now if you would like. So for additional Help. We do phone, email, live chat six days a week, Sunday through Friday. Um, that includes holidays as well. So we will have somebody on uh, President's Day Monday. Uh, contact info. Uh, contact info is right. So contact info right here. So phone, email, uh, live chat info. If you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one training session, we do offer those complimentary. And I will give you the link uh, here in the chat window. So if you're interested in scheduling a follow-up one-on-one, kind of walk through your specific setup, um, more than welcome to do that. We have times available as soon as next Monday. So you can use this link uh, to sign up right here if you are interested. Uh, otherwise, I thank you for joining. Looks like we're good on questions. So I hope it was helpful. Uh, stay in touch. Let us know how everything is working out for you. And hope uh, everyone has a great rest of your Thursday.